In this video, I want to do a quick tutorial for you on plotting and rules in Mathematica. So perhaps you have a function like this. Uh, this is an expression for a Gaussian, and it has a bunch of terms that we don't necessarily have values for, but we'd like to plot it and kind of see what's going on. So first off, we'll show you rules so that you can simplify this and get something that you can plot. Uh, first, let's evaluate this expression. So I hit shift enter. Here's my expression. It shows all the variables in their full glory. To simplify this to get something I can plot, I'm going to apply a rule. And one way you can do that is you can put your expression in braces and then you put like divide dot and then I'm going to specify another list here. And in this list, this is where we're going to put the rules. So I'll set a to be 1 and so I can put dash greater than and it gives me that symbol and I hit space and then Mathematica cleans it up a little bit. Our first rule that a should be 1, I'll set a second rule that b should be 1 half and thirdly that sigma should be 1 and watch what happens. So it's simplified it. This is something we can plot. So let's plot now use the plot command and put in our expression. So I'm going to grab all of this from above, paste it in there, that's what we want to plot. And now we need to specify the range of x. x is the variable we're plotting against, and let's make it go from negative 3 to 3. And there it is, that's nice. To put in labels, I can put in here axes label, and then this arrow and x, f, and then it puts in here x, and then it puts in the expression for f. Uh, that's kind of nice. Let's take it a step further. Let's change it up so that instead of f, I'm going to let g be this function. And instead of a constant standard deviation, I'm going to put in here something that grows in time. And I'll put 1 plus t. We'll make that be g. OK. Evaluate it. It looks like this. Now we're just going to plot it at a couple of times. One at t equals zero, and then one at some later t. Again, we don't know hard and fast values, so we'll, we'll just assign values like we did before. And I'm going to put the two plots on the same axes. So to do that, again, I'm going to put plot. And now, since we're going to do two expressions on the same axes, we're going to have like this expression 1 and expression 2 in a list. And then we're going to have the running variable and its domain. So I'm going to put here in advance x should go like above negative 3 to 3. And the expression, the first expression, is going to be g. And then we're going to apply a rule, actually a set of rules. I'm just going to copy these ones from above. And here I'm going to set t to 0. And then the second expression is going to be just like it, but now t is going to be 1. And if I evaluate that, there it is. Now we'll take and put axes labels here. And finally, I'm going to put in legends. So we'll put here plot legends. And I'm going to put in here, the first one is going to just say t is 0. And then the second one will be t is 1. And evaluate that. And it tells me this line is a later time, and this time is our initial time. And you can see the Gaussian is widening in time. OK, so that was just a quick tutorial on plotting and rules. So we use rules to take an expression with a bunch of unknowns and just assign values to them so that we can plot. And then I showed you plotting and multiple lines within the same plot and adding axes labels and a legend. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks. Have a great day.